I want to show you all a video and it is about hell for masturbation. This video is coming from a YouTube channel called Change is Coming. So what you should do is go over there and watch her other videos. They are really good. This video here is really going to be educational. And I believe that it is true as well. So I pray that all of this makes sense. God bless you. In 2015, late 2015, I went to hell um, and it took me a really long time to recover from my visit from hell. Um, I actually plan to do a separate video about the recovery because it was that intense. Um, anyway, uh, this is my encounter. After I went to hell, as soon as I came back, Jesus told me to write it down immediately. So I want to read word for word exactly what um, I wrote down um, back then. So I'm just going to get started. I have something to share with you all. Okay, I'm just reading this. And I, I wrote it this way because I wrote it for Facebook. Okay, I have something to share with you all that is shameful. But let me start by saying this. I'm not in this world to put myself on a pedestal to be worshipped. That is Jesus' job. I am a human, uh, and I am trying to be the best person I can for Christ and for you all. I don't minister for my own praise. I minister to snatch souls from hell, and if that means putting my dirty laundry on the table, I will do it in a heartbeat. I dreamed I was in hell. The devil was this hideous beast with horns and red skin. There were other devils all around. The devils were mocking me while Satan was trying to have sex with me. But not sex like we know of with intercourse. He was arousing my sexual desires so he could help me focus on that while he ate my flesh. He kept reminding me how I masturbated all night and how I imagined having sex with imaginary people that he showed me was his devils. Note, I knew this already, and so for the most part, I focused on the word of God, but still, I was in sin. It is virtually impossible to masturbate without thinking about someone. Don't fool yourself. I kept saying no and calling for Jesus. The devils laughed and mocked me as I called for Jesus, but each time Satan would loosen his grip on me, but still I was not free. I kept saying, I rebuke you in Jesus' name over and over. He would loosen his grip on me, but still I was not free. I couldn't physically move and I couldn't wake up. The room was dark with a damp light. There were shadows from the fire all around. I was in hell. I screamed again, Jesus, please help me. Please, Jesus, help me. Finally, Satan loosed his grip enough for me to get up and away. I was then in between this world and hell. And hell. I was in between this world and, and hell. I was in my room, but I was still in hell. I was in my room, but it looked like hell. I kept screaming for Jesus as I ran to turn on the lights. They wouldn't come on. Oh, my dream was so real. I was in hell. The devils continued to mock me. I saw a devil on the bed that looked like me. It was mocking me and saying that I was going to have sex with Satan. I said, the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Over and over. The devil is a liar. Then when I flipped the switch, the light came on and I woke up with tears. Praise God. I also went on to write, masturbation is a sin. I don't need to see it in the Bible, although I believe it's there now. 
Now that is what I wrote back then, but since I have had this experience, I have most definitely found it in the Bible, and I would have to do a separate video on that because it is in the Bible, okay? Um, and I, I'm going to go on reading what I wrote. Masturbation is a sin. You think it's easy for me to air my dirty laundry? I do it for your sake. It was not even something that I did often, like once a month. I thought it was okay. I was dead wrong. Praise God I am free. Satan wants us to be quiet about our sin. Just shove it in a drawer and appear perfect. Masturbation is a sin, even if you focus on the Bible. I honestly thought it was okay if I focus on the Bible. Boy, was I wrong. I want to be holy before my God. I want to be pure. So I have vowed to never, 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 never do it again. Please don't look down on me. Just join me and be made perfect before Christ. Okay, that is the end of what I wrote. I just want to add that as horrific as, as this experience was for me, um, oh my goodness, it, even even as I'm reading this, I'm like hyperventilating, trying not to hyperventilate because it was that horrendous. Um, I just want to add that as horrible as it was, it's still, I, I still was not over that sin immediately. It was a process. I mean, I had to actually learn a lot. I looked up and, and learned about masturbation devils and um, I found it in the Bible. I had to keep calling on the name of Jesus every single time that I was around and wanted to masturbate. Um, it was it was a very hard sin to get over, I will honestly say, but we have to hold on to the truth in the Bible that says that if you resist the devil, he will flee from you. And what that means is that if you keep telling the devil no, and you keep not doing what that devil is trying to make you do, and it will eventually leave from you. And I know this is sounding crazy what I'm about to say, and I don't care because I'm just going to say it. But I kept resisting the devil and I kept rebuking that devil in the name of Jesus. And I kid you not, I was laying in the bed one day and um, uh, I rebuked the devil again. It was trying to get me to masturbate. I said, no, the devil's a liar. And I have a list of, of, of scriptures. Maybe I should do a video on that as well. I have, I have a list of spiritual warfare scriptures and I will quote them. Okay, because Ephesians 6, the only weapon that we have against the enemy is the word of God. Everything else is just... Of the armor in Ephesians 6 is just to protect us. But the word of God is the, the sword. That is the only weapon that we have. So you better quote the word of God. So I quoted the word of God and I kid you not, that devil went right out of my nose. It was like a slow breath. <sighs> like a long, long, slow breath, um, breath that went out of one of my nostrils. Went right out of one nostril. It was so weird. It was the weirdest thing I've ever felt. And I knew it was that devil. I knew instantly it was that devil. So, um, and I would say that the techniques that I learned to get rid of it, praise God, because I'm free now in the name of Jesus, works for anything. Keep resisting the devil. Resist that devil. Quote the word of God. And let me pray. Let's pray. Dear Father, I lift up these souls to you in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We want to be holy before you, Lord. We want to be right for you when you come. You're coming back for a church without a spot and a blemish, Lord God. We want to be counted in that number. I pray right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you touch every soul that hears these words, Lord God, that you free us up, Lord God, that we are not bound by any stumbling blocks of the enemy, Lord God. Let's put the devil in his proper place behind us in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We will stand on your word. We will believe on your word and we will be set free because your word cleanses us, Lord God. We thank you. We give you all the glory, the power, Lord God, and the honor. And we pray, Lord God, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all. Goodbye. Make sure you go over to her channel and show her some love. God bless you all.